In this video, we are going to be using Python code to make ourselves a Christmas card with a snowman on it. We will be accessing Python's turtle module to actually draw the graphics on your screen. Okay, and when you're finished, it will look something like this. So let's get started today by heading over to the Python IDLE and making ourselves a new blank file. Once you've got the blank file up, the first thing we're going to do is write import turtle, which imports the turtle module, which is just some pre-written code that will help us definitely cut back on the amount of code we need to write. Now the first shape we want to actually um, draw up is a circle. So we're going to define a function called draw underscore circle. Now after you've written define, which is shortened to DEF, come up with a name that you want to call this function. It could be anything, but best to keep it meaningful. So that's why I've called it draw underscore circle. Then we're going to open up some brackets and simply write what's in the yellow tooltip on your screen there, which is turtle, comma, color, comma, x, comma, y, comma, radius. And they're basically the values we're going to pass in very shortly to make ourselves a circle. Once you've closed the bracket, put in a colon and press enter. And you'll see that your mouse cursor indents a small way just here. Okay, and that's exactly what we want to happen to show that the next lot of code that we write is actually inside this function here that draws the circle. So the code coming in now is what draws the circle. First thing we're going to write is turtle.pen up bracket bracket. So what that's saying is we're accessing the turtle module and inside that turtle module we're going to access the function that somebody else has written called pen up. And what that basically means if we were drawing on paper we would lift our pen up off the page so we're no longer touching the page with our pen. So we can move our pen around without actually drawing anything onto the paper. All right, next thing I'm going to do is just copy turtle dot. So I'll highlight it and go to copy because we're going to use that turtle dot a number of times now in our code. So on the next line, we're going to just paste in turtle dot and we're going to write color, spelled the American way, and then in brackets, write color again. Okay, that's basically saying our border color for our shape or our circle in this case is going to be whatever color we pass in a bit later on. Okay, on the next line we're going to write turtle.fill color and again write color in brackets. And just like above here, this color that we type in a bit later on or we pass in will be the fill color of the shape. Um, so coming in after that, once we've got our colors sorted, we're going to actually move our pen to the appropriate position. So we'll write turtle.go to, and we're going to pass in some values, or some coordinates in this case, of x and y. Okay, we don't know what they are yet, but when we write some more code later on, we'll know what those x and y values are where we want to start drawing that circle. Once we are in position, we're going to put our pen back down on the paper. So we write turtle.pen down, bracket, bracket. That function will basically put our pen back on the paper, ready for drawing. Before we do start drawing, we will write turtle.begin um, underscore fill, open and close a bracket. Okay, so we, whatever we draw now, we're going to start filling it in with our fill color. And we're going to also write in a turtle.circle. And then in brackets, we write radius. So this will be the size of our circle that we're drawing. What's the radius size going to be? And the final thing, once we've drawn our circle, is we write turtle.end underscore fill and open and close a bracket. Okay, that function there will just stop colouring in our shape. So that is the code needed to draw a circle. The next shape that we need to draw is a rectangle. So we're going to define a new function by writing def, and we'll write draw underscore rectangle. If you can spell it right, there we go. As you can see now, our define draw rectangle is pushed back over to the left side of the page. Okay, we've moved out of this first function, and we're now creating a new function. All right, now we're going to do a bit of copying and pasting here. So I'm going to basically copy from this bracket up here all the way down to the end of that first function. Control C to copy, and after draw rectangle, I'm going to press Control V to paste it in. Okay, now a lot of this code will be the same, but there are a few small modifications we need to make. So for the define draw rectangle line, we leave turtle, the color, the X and the Y. Now instead of radius, there's no radius in a rectangle. What we do need to know is the width and the height. So just write in width, comma, height. We'll pass those values in later on to know exactly how wide and high our rectangle should be. Next line, 
lift our pen up off the page, we pick a border color and a fill color. We go to a set set of coordinates. Okay, once we are there, we'll put the pen down on the page and we will begin the fill. Now I'm going to press enter a few times here because we need to put in some code now to actually draw our rectangle. Now as you're aware, a rectangle will have two long sides that are equal and two shorter sides that are equal. So we're going to use that to our advantage and put um, our code here into a loop. That will loop our code twice and that will help us draw a uh, rectangle a little bit quicker. So I'm going to write in the for loop, so for i, in range, and then in brackets, 2. So we're going to repeat the next lot of code two times. Don't forget to put a colon after that number 2 in the brackets. That will just say that we're starting our loop now. When we press enter, the mouse will indent underneath and across a little bit that for section. We're going to write turtle dot forward. And we're going to move forward the width that we set for our rectangle. Okay, and I'm just copy turtle dot there because we're going to use it a bit. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to write turtle dot left and 90. So what that's saying is we're going to turn our turtle to the left 90 degrees. Once we've swung around to the left 90 degrees, we're going to do turtle dot forward again. So we're going to move forward. This time we're going forward the height. So whatever value we decide the height to be, that's how far it's, far it's going to move forward. And then we'll write turtle dot left and swing it around 90 degrees again. And that's all the code we need to write, uh, draw our rectangle. Okay, well, half our rectangle basically draws the long or the width, turns left 90 degrees, draws the height, turns left 90 degrees, and we're going to loop back around here and just repeat this code one more time to finish off our rectangle. So we'll go forward again, turn left, forward again, turn left, and that will close off our rectangle. To finalize everything here, we'll just um, bring back the code we had before. We can delete turtle.circle radius. Obviously, we're not drawing a circle here, so we can scrap that. And this last line, turtle.nfill, we will keep. That will just stop us coloring in um, our rectangle. And again, the final thing we need is turtle.setheading. And we're going to put zero. So that just sets our turtle back to facing in the zero degree direction. Okay, so that's the direction it's heading in. That's all the code we need to draw the circle and the rectangle. So I'm going to go to File and Save As. And we're going to just make a new folder here. And what are we going to call it? We'll just call it Snowman, I think. Okay, so the new folder's here. Call it Snowman. Open him up. And we're going to call this module Shapes. Okay, make sure you've got the spelling right there for Shapes and click Save. Now we're going to go back to the audio and make a new file. And this is where we're going to actually put in the code to draw our snowman on the page. Okay, we've written the code to actually make a circle and a rectangle, but it doesn't draw it on the page just yet. This is where this new file comes in handy for doing just that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import a few modules from Python. The first one is the turtle module. So we're going to write from turtle, import star, which means import all the code in that module. Then we're going to write from shapes, import star. So import everything from the shapes file we just created. So now that we've um, imported those modules, we are ready to start the proper coding. We're first of all going to set the speed of our turtle to zero. That's how quickly our um, snowman is going to be drawn. And zero is the quickest speed. Okay, you can play around with that and set it to five or ten or something like that. And you can see that it will draw the snowman a lot slower. But just to keep things moving quickly, we'll put the speed to zero. After that, we're just going to set up the screen um, or the window for our drawing to take place in. So we'll write window equals turtle dot screen with a capital S and then open and close a bracket. And we'll write window dot BG color. So we can set the background color for our window. Now, I think it automatically comes out as white, but just in case it doesn't, you can write in white or use the... Um, hexadecimal code for white, which is FFFFFF, like so. So that will just set our window color when it pops up to white. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little blue background in behind our snowman. So we're going to put in a comment that says background. Okay, Remember, comments are just plain English that get skipped over when the computer reads the code. Every time it sees a hashtag, it will just skip past that line and won't even bother reading it.
So it won't process this as code. Just plain English to help other people that read our code understand what's going on. Okay, so our background is just a blue circle. So let's call up that function we created earlier to draw a circle. You have a look back here in the shapes code that we drew before. Here's our function draw circle. So instead of writing all these different lines of code, all we need to write is that first line. Okay, and it will run all this other code underneath it. So you write draw circle, and then in brackets we write in turtle. Oops. And then we can put in the values we want for this circle. So I want the background color to be a light blue color. So in quotation marks, I'm going to put in a hexadecimal code 69D9FF. And close my quotation marks, put a comma. X value is going to be 0, Y value is minus 200. And the size of my circle is 220 pixels for the radius. If we press Control S to save that, I'm just going to give it the name main. And I'm going to run that module and see if everything's working as planned. And it is. I've got a white background and a blue circle. So far, so good. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to start drawing the body of our snowman. Okay, it's made up of three sections. If you actually I'll close the example, so don't worry about it. Um, so we've got a bigger base section, middle size, mid section, and then a smaller section for the head. So I'm going to start with the bottom, the biggest circle. So I'm going to put in the code draw underscore circle. We'll bring in brackets there, the turtle. We'll make the color white. Put a comma. X value is zero. Y value is minus 180. So it's going to start fairly low down the page. And the size or the radius is going to be 90 pixels. And I might put a comment after that that tells me which part of the body that is. That's the bottom part. Now I'm going to do a bit of copying and pasting here. Okay, so I'm just going to copy and paste, copy and paste. So this next bit is going to be the middle and this bottom bit is going to be the top. Now we just need to change these values here a little bit. So on this second line down, I'm going to change it to minus 60 for the Y value and 70 for the radius size. See the X value here of zero stays the same throughout. So that's um, basically snowballs stack up on top of one another. Now this last one here, the head section or the top of their snowman, it's going to be set to 50. So back in the positive numbers here, and it's going to be set to 50 down there. That's for its radius. If we press Control S to save it and then go and run that module, you will see three circles drawn on the page. They do overlap each other. That's fine. That's looking like a pretty good snowman body. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to put some buttons onto our snowman shirt. So we'll write buttons. Again, we are drawing circles. Okay, so um, we're going to basically run those, I can't show you right now, we're going to run those circles up the middle of our snowman. So I'm going to start by setting a Y value to minus 150. That's where the first button is going to start. Minus 150 pixels down the page. Now we're going to create a loop because I want five buttons on this guy's shirt. So rather than writing the same code over and over again five times, we'll just write the code once and stick it inside a loop so that code repeats itself five times. So we're going to write 4i in range 5 and then put a colon. When you press enter, you will be indented a little way. Okay, I might even copy and paste that draw circle code again. Um, so it's draw a circle, turtle, the color of our buttons is going to be black. We'll leave the X value at 0, Y value to Y. Okay, now that's that value just there, so it'll be minus 150 to start with. And the size when our buttons is 7. Okay, so that's looking all right. Now on the next line, we're going to do Y equals Y plus 45. Now what that means is, as we run this first line of code, we stick a button onto the snowman, then our Y value jumps up the page 45 pixels. So that means the next button, when we loop this code around back to the start again, the next button that we put in, its Y value will be 45 pixels further up the page than the previous one. Alright, so let's just save that, and we'll see if we get five buttons appearing on our snowman. There they are. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Next thing we're going to do after the buttons is the eyes, which are quite similar to the buttons. So I'm going to put in a comment that says eyes. Now I'm going to 
copy and paste this code just here because it's very similar. So we've got the draw circle function being run. Obviously we want it black. Now the X value we want to be minus 15 for the first eye. The Y value is going to be 110 and the size will be 7. That'll do the first eye. If I copy that code in a second time, we'll get the second eye. Now the only thing we're going to change here is we're going to change this 15 here to a positive 15. And that should do us for the eyes. So Control S to save. F5 to run the module. We've now got our snowman with buttons and eyes. You can see that little arrow there just sticking in near the eye there. That's just the turtle which is drawing the shapes. We can hide that. So I'm just going to put that down the bottom of my code here. It's just hide turtle. Bracket, bracket. Okay, when you save it now, hopefully that little turtle, that little arrow will disappear. There you go. So that looks a bit better. All right, coming in under the eyes, the next thing we're going to draw is the mouth. Okay, now the mouth is simply made up of two circles. There's going to be a red circle to start with, and then a white circle that overlaps over the top of it. So I'm going to put in a comment again that says mouth. And I'm going to copy and paste that draw circle code in once more. Now I'm going to change the color. So I'll change it to red, the first one. The X value is going to be set to zero, so it's right in the middle of our snowman. Uh, we'll set this Y value to 80 and the size of our mouth to 12 pixel radius. Now if I save that and run it, you'll see a red circle as his mouth. What we're going to do is put a white circle overlapping most of that, which will create a smile. You'll see what I mean in just a sec. So I'll copy and paste that code and change the color from red to white. Leave that at zero. I'm just going to move it up the page five pixels, so I'll make it 85 and leave it as 12 pixel diameter, or radius, sorry. Now when we run the code, you'll see that the red circle has a white one overlapping it, and that will make it look like a smiley face. So our snowman is starting to come together quite nicely now. now. After the mouth, we get into the tricky stuff where we need to make the arms. So you've got a left and a right arm, which are made of sticks. And we need to make them out of rectangles that are rotated onto their sides a little bit. So I'm going to start with the left arm. I think it's the left arm anyway. I'm going to start by writing in left 45. What that means is we're going to turn to the left 45 degrees to draw this next shape. Now we're going to call up the code to draw a rectangle. Didn't spell that properly, there we go. So draw a rectangle and then in brackets we're going to write in turtle, comma, we put our color in quotation marks, so we just want our color to be brown like sticks are. X value is 50, Y value is 25, the width 50, height 5 pixels. Close that, save it, and run it again. I know I'm doing this quite a bit, but it's good to keep checking your code as you go to make sure everything's working. And there's the stick for our arm coming out of the snowman. Okay, so that looks good. What we might do now is add some fingers or hands, basically, to this um, snowman. So we're going to turn to the left zero degrees. I'm going to copy this draw rectangle line because we're going to write something quite similar. So we'll paste it in down here. Draw a rectangle. Uh, it'll be turtle brown. We're just going to change these values here to 75 and then 50. Um, and then we're going to set this to 20 and this to 3. Okay, so the X value, Y value, width and height. Okay, now I'm going to save that and run it and we'll have a look. We should have a finger, I think the left finger, appearing. Um, and then we're going to copy that. Uh, what are we going to do? We might even copy this left at zero degrees too because we do need to turn him again. It's going to be 90 degrees this time though, so make sure it says left and then 90 degrees. We'll draw our rectangle, turtle brown, 75, 50, 20, and 3. So that should be all good. So let's save it and run it, and hopefully we've got one arm with a hand created. There we go, beautiful. So let's do that on the other side now. Okay, so we could, yeah, we could probably copy and paste this. It's going to be a little bit of rearranging of the code, but let's copy and paste to save ourselves a bit of time. So for this right arm, we're going to start by changing it from left to right 45 degrees. So we turn to the right 45 degrees, 
Draw a rectangle, turtle brown. Change these values to minus 90, 55, 50, and then 5. Then we're going to turn to the left at 0 degrees. Draw another rectangle, which is brown. It will be minus 100, 45, 20, and 3. Then we've got left, 90 degrees. Draw a rectangle again, turtle, brown. Now it's going to be minus 75. We're going to have 45 here, 20 and 3. Okay, and that adds a right arm and two fingers going with it. Control S to save. Run module up the top. Let's have a look. Beautiful. We've got our snowman created. Now we've got a little bit of room left at the top here where I'd just like to write a little Christmas message in. So you can send this as a Christmas card if you'd like to your nerdy partner. So let's put in a comment and call it message. And we're simply going to put the pen up for a second, just so we can move it to another section of the page. So while the pen's up, we'll move um, up towards the top in a sec. We'll change the color to red. Make sure you put that in quotation marks. Um, we'll go to... We'll set the X and Y coordinates, so the X coordinate will be minus 110 and the Y coordinate will be 160. And once we're there, we're going to write, Happy Christmas. Close off the quotation marks, put a comma, and if you'd like to um, manipulate your font in some way, you can just write font equals, and you can choose whatever font you want. I'm just going to keep it simple with Arial. Put a comma and make it size 20, and then in quotation marks, we'll put it as a bold. Close off two lots of brackets there, and we're finished. So I'll save that again by pressing Control S, F5 to run the module. Should have a snowman with Happy Christmas written at the top. And there you have it, guys. We have a snowman Christmas card.